I really don't understand that word. It, we don't need to borrow from any other, uh, you know, uh, culture that we have our own technique, uh, such a rich technique that we can do uh, retaining the indigenous culture and doing uh, clever productions. That is what we have to do in the future. That is what we have to show now. My father and mother uh, created this, uh, preserved the culture and now we have to show that with that where we are going, where that we are taking it forward using uh, um, stage crafts and lights and costumes and doing uh, uh, interesting work. So now on that note, you said taking it forward and preserving it at the same time. Yeah. I want to revisit a point we discussed at the first half of the discussion where we spoke about branding, the need to brand Sri Lanka and taking Sri Lanka beyond borders. So at that time I was thinking uh, what an impact Sri Lanka can actually make in terms of dance. Now my question to you, Pekka, is as a performer who has travelled abroad and danced, when you danced, what sort of response did you get from different countries, different nationalities? And did it really make an impact on them? Oh, yes. Or did, they, did, did you put Sri Lanka on the map? I know you oh, have definitely. to be humble, but you, ha you can explain. Definitely. We have represented the country in many. Uh, recently, for the SARC conference, we performed uh, in India where all the SARC countries uh, did pieces from their country, and we did the Sri Lanka section where I know that our technique was very rich technique because we have a traditional dance. We, everybody wanted to learn um, Sri Lankan dance and come to Sri Lanka because in India they have never seen Sri Lankan dance and we are neighbours, we are so close. So when we go to the West, they are completely, uh, you know, they are, they are stunned with our um, drumming. They have never seen our drums, so that impact. And you, the moment you go out, it's very important that we send our traditional dance out of this country and make an impression in other countries like the rest of the world, like the European countries or the US and show the traditional dance. What I feel is that what is shown outside is not the traditional dance. So we have to now make it very, you know, very, it's a very important aspect where we, uh, because we have such a bad uh, uh, reputation in this country where people only know Sri Lanka about the war and the bombs like you said. Now to change that, because I, I, I found that all over the years, the past 20, 30 years that I have traveled to different parts of the, you know, the world, everywhere we went, they're all so taken up with our culture. And they always come and tell us that we have never seen, we didn't know that you had a culture like that, we didn't know that you had drums like that, they are so interested in our drums, then they are so interested in uh, our, uh, you know, when they, when they see us worshipping each other before a performance, all those things uh, are Basically fascinated. fascinated with those things because that they are, they are surprised that we, we still follow those things. So we make it very clear to them that it's very important that we follow our, uh, um, you know, rituals and we as dancers we follow that in the Asian countries you know worshipping our elders our teachers that I always worship my drummers because if not for them I cannot dance I dance to the drum and for me I have so much respect for my drummers and in our productions we always make it a point to showcase our drumming because the drumming is the most important thing that the dance is hung on the dance is dead without the drum and also we have uh, like time for one last question. Now we were talking Upeka about taking dance uh, beyond borders. Now I want to ask you a question because I feel that dance and all forms of arts and the artists are also centered in Colombo. In the city. So in the city. So what is the need for dance and arts to travel beyond the city limits? We have to do something about that because I, I remember when in those days when my parents did any new production. The first thing we get is a telephone call from Candy, Gaul, Kurunagal. We have traveled Polon Naru. We have we used to take Karadi or Naladamanti have gone all over the country. But in the recent past, when we wanted to take one of our productions out, it was so difficult. People are not ready to sponsor it. People are not ready to organize the trip. 
So it's it's the sponsorship. If somebody, you know, if a big company sponsor uh, dancers to go out, and for, because they the the only the city people, like you said, see your, all the productions that we do. And I'm very keen to go uh, to different parts of the country. And, and you were referring your yeah. passion to go to and, Jaffna. And also to do workshops where we could uh, you know, talk about our dance and make um, students from the villages participate in a workshop. Workshops are so important with the production. We can do a demonstration. You know, I like to travel and do this in different parts of uh, the country. So actually, it was a very inspiring message all throughout that is about preserving the indigenous nature of dance, the traditional dance, and that how it will help to retain the national identity and the need to go beyond uh, Sri Lanka and how what an impact it can have on the whole world actually. So being a prima ballerina, you, uh, thank you so much for uh, sort of sharing the experiences. And when you were speaking about how they're fascinated and stunned by our drummers and the performance, we really feel that arts and culture in Sri Lanka can really make an impact in other parts of the world and your message to the sponsors out there who would like to sponsor artists such as these to travel and to take this message across to do workshops beyond the city limits so there's a message out there there's an invitation so thank you very much uh, Upeka for joining us and giving all these inspirational method uh, me messages at a point of a sort of a trying to go through like a cultural renaissance and thank you for watching us tonight. Do join us tomorrow at the same time. Have a good night.